And you're alive. Uh, you need to make it bigger or something. It is bigger. Oh, I there. need to be able to see. Perfect. Hi. Hello, everybody. We'll give it a minute for people to log in. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, right. We're going to work this time. Welcome, everybody. We had a delay from yesterday. It Actually, we didn't get as much bad weather as we thought we would get, but still. The roads were bad. Still, Cindy didn't want to drive in it, so. I worked at home a lot. We but we're people. here today. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. And Pauline and Deanna and Miley. I got some cool inspiration today. I got this idea in my head. Oh, and I didn't scroll. Oh. I got this idea in my head. We'll give it a couple more minutes and then I will show I will show my inspiration. It's kind of springy, I think. It wants to know if we want to share the video on stitches at home. Who wants to know that? Facebook. No. Okay. We will next week when we're doing our... Yeah. We can do that. Thing. So, what's the inspiration this week? Okay. My inspiration this week... Look at these colors. Oh, you want the overhead? Yeah. See, that's why the screen was small. Yeah, but I still want to see it big, so it's easier for me to show. I understand that. Okay. See this? My inspiration. There there are... How many oh, colors? Oh, Ron's watching. Oh, wow. Hi, Ron. Oh, and... The, Valera? Hi, Valera. Oh, you got to scroll again. See, this one has... Um, about one, two, three, about six different colors in here, but I picked out five of the colors out of here, and I am going to use five different colors to match this. Oh, Nathaniel's here. So, I'm going to, my technique I'm going to use today is... Well, that's a good shot of it. I'm colors. not even going to call this sprinkle, speckle, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this a fine mist because I'm going to use spray bottles on fine mist for this. And I'm going to make like different, almost like we talked about the other day, almost like a Monet kind of look I'm going to do to this. I cannot see anything today for some reason. I can't yeah. read anything. Yes, it has yellow. Who asked that? Miley. Yes, it's got yellow in it. Okay, so hello, Buffalo Ron. I have soaked off the yarn in some acid water. So you want it this kind of screen? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let me rinse out the yarn. Ron Get. says five colors is a lot. Then Ron doesn't know me. <laughs> I got my Funfetti takes eight different colors. So this is the yarn that we'll release on, not this Friday, but the following, which is March 26th. Oh, March 26th, my baby turns 18. <laughs> that makes me old. Okay, so I did uh, two worsted 100% superwash. Soft, buttery yellow. And two superwash fingering weight. So now, let me get on my inspiration again. So we can make a hat with the worsted. So you can see, what I'm going to do here is the colors that are bigger on here, like the pink, the yellow, the, the green, and the, 
almost like a siege blue. Some. Those are the colors I'm going to mist. And then you can see that the darker orange <laughs> is more... What? So they're saying Dexter needs to make a special appearance so they can sing to him next oh, week. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that won't happen. And you can see that that the orange is more of border kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different technique for putting that on here. Okay, so let's just start. I did label these, but I kind of put them in order. But I won't know what color it really is until I start. <laughs> you know me. Ooh. So that's like a blue-green. More blue than green. No bottles. Those are different. That's the same color. No, it isn't. Oh. It's green. Trust me. I see no difference. Pink? That was pink. Did someone say yellow? Miley said yellow. I like that. It kind of um, blends with the natural, but adds something too. Okay, so now, are you guys ready? What are you doing? Ah! That's... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect big splatters of orange. But that's the border. I understand, I see it. The border! Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Have, has anybody ever been disappointed in... Don't say it. Okay, I won't say it. You really want to open that floodgate? Yes, Tom. Your stuff is... <laughs> Too many colors. I hate color. Well, I think the orange breaks up stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be fine. I you just know, was a little shocked. I think the pink needs to be a little more prominent. But that's me. I always want the pink more prominent. <laughs> Guys, guess what? Guys. Next, or ladies Eagles. and Ron and everybody, <laughs> next You're week, next horrible. week, Cindy is going to die. No! Because she has this idea she wants, it sounds like. No, I just like to critique you <laughs> and make you better. I'm just making, I'm improving your technique. Oh. oh. You'd think you'd know that after 30 years of improving. Not a question you should ever ask the wife. What? <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Ron knows. Ron gets it. Oh, here we go again. Go ahead. <laughs> This is weird. So much. I could put some like pastelli things in yeah, here, like just this thing. Do your vision. It'll be the prettiest thing you've ever made, and show me up. I always want prominent pink. I 
I agree with you, Ron. I know. I have to not look. But see, that's why this works. Because if I was the one dyeing it, it would all be my taste. Tom doesn't have any taste, so it always so, comes out unique. <laughs> totally. <laughs> When I was young, I freaked my parents out. I, in my bedroom, I decided. You weren't that young. Okay, so when I was older <laughs> in my bedroom, I decided I had this Jackson Pollock kind of idea in my head. So I took gloss white, painted all the walls in gloss white. Not eggshell, not flat, but gloss white. And then I took gloss black and splattered all the walls with black gloss paint. And then I took a high gloss gray and painted the floor. It actually was kind of cool, but that was 90s, eight, late 80s. Did your mom ever repaint that before she moved out? I don't think so. <laughs> no wonder the house sold so low. It wasn't because of me. I think it added value. Mm. Oh, 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 all right. What? You guys stick together. It says careful. He has great taste. <laughs> Whip it. Ron. No, it wasn't much a goth. I was thinking about you the it other was... day. I am so missing eating out on the road. I am so missing the big Texan. Oh, that again. Didn't you and Ron find some weird little... We found all kinds of cool places to eat. They weren't weird. Buffet. What was it, Ron? Vietnamese Chinese buffet or something like that? I thought it was Mexican. And I don't know. I just remember you telling me about it. It was different. And Ron ran into a tree. <laughs> After he hit his head on a wing of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough trip all the way around. Lost the brakes. Had to get a new tire. <laughs> I think some of it was just excuses so you could stop in places to eat longer. No. We would never do something like that. Mm-hmm. It's turning purple in spots. I kind of like that. Not much of purple in the fabric, but I don't care. Round going up Sunday, moving the harvest on Monday. Oh. Are you going in BF, Ron? We found a Vietnamese Chinese buffet that was great. That's it. Okay, it's starting to grow on me. The pastels are thickening up a little. Oh, stop it. <laughs> she really likes this orange on here, if you guys couldn't tell. Not loving the orange. Ron said it might have been the best road trip ever. It's because T and I weren't with you guys. You got to stop and do your weirdo guy things, casinos and buffets in a truck. <laughs> She's just jealous. And the Route 66 casino buffet wasn't bad. See, I knew it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Being stuck home for COVID probably saved about 10 years on both your lives. You know that, that show, Drivers, Dine-Ins, and Dives, and all the other kind of road shows like that? I've probably eaten at a large majority of all those restaurants. <laughs> Not in the last 12 months. But a lot of them? I ate at 
even before those shows had to come out. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen. I picked the wrong one. Oh, no! Now you got to start over. It'll work. Mm -hmm. I think i got to put a little more on here, and I think I'm done. So I want a little bit of natural in here. That's interesting. I can't picture it knitted up, which is unusual. Usually in my brain, I can, I get to those orange spots and my brain stops. I'm probably going to re-skein this stuff. Well, I, I think it'll look good re -skeined. Yeah. It'll be, I'm anxious to see the sample. What do you guys think? I'm done. Exactly what I was going for. <laughs> exactly. I was wondering if it needs a pink overwash. Well, they can't all be winners. <laughs> what? People are going to love this. This is going to be like, go viral or something. Deanna says it's not in her wheelhouse. <laughs> Deanna, you gotta wait till it dries and I rescan it. Get I'm with you, Deanna. Not my wheelhouse either, but we'll see. Once it's knitted up. You just never know. Was it the orange? <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, don't be sorry. Everybody's got their own taste. <laughs> That's why I sell over 300 different colorways. Okay. Okay, I am going to go put it in some plastic and put it in the steam bath. Hmm. Not sure about this one. It's interesting. You know what we need to call this yarn? No, that's probably not. What? I was going to say butterface, but that's probably a rude thing to say. Oh, that's not nice at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's why you need to come in and create your own colorway, because evidently this is what Tom does when left to his own devices. So we'll see. Who knows? You never know. It could be amazing. But I think it's going to be odd. I don't know. Interesting can mean many things. It's got a nice personality. Oh, it's going to be perfect. <laughs> you lost the yellow. It might be your screen because I'm still seeing some yellow in it. Oh, yeah. There's lots of yellow in it. So, anyway, there we go. Why are you leaning towards the camera? I can't see today. I I don't have glasses on, and I'm trying to read. <laughs> it's like you're leaning into the camera. No, I'm leaning into the TV there. I know. Maybe we can move it closer next okay. time. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. We might have this for next Friday, or we might have a totally different colorway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of doing these things live. The beauty? Yeah. This, or this might be, or... The agony of defeat. Or <laughs> this might be... 
we have on the side besides our main colorway. <laughs> that could be. You never know. You never know. <laughs> That's what makes these. That's days why so much when fun. I do these samples like this, I only do four skeins. <laughs> you'll see this one. It's just whether or not you'll see another one with it that's better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm anxious to see it because I can't picture this one. So there's been a lot of colors that I've done. I've I've I thought you know I don't really care for that. And then we sell like a hundred up skeins of it. Yeah, you just never know. We miss you too, Nathania. Oh, and Nathania, you inspired us when you got Bella. So go ahead and get signed up for our puppy. Yeah, we're gonna. Because we're getting a standard golden doodle. Lou. Lulu. Lou. Dexter named her Lulu. Which do we get to see this Friday? This Friday is the murder yarn, so we still haven't labeled that. No. Still thinking it's red rum, but if we're gonna do other colors. I'm thinking but... arterial spray myself. No, no. That's just too graphic and too hard to spell. How about headshot? No. No. Uh, everybody likes the word headshot. No. Yes, a puppy. Yeah. We're gonna have to see how She's our. She's so cute. We're gonna have to see how our ten-year-old dog will get along with her. She's a standard size golden doodle, so she's like a blonde. Poodle. Lou. Lulu. I, we were going to call her cashmere. Well, I wanted mohair. Mo for, for mohair. No. I think that would have been an awesome name. CSI. That's a good name. Yes. Blood spatter. Oh. Double tap. You know, I Double like that tap. one too. <laughs> Double tap. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Or. Two in the chest, one in the head. Well, That's a special long. forces kind of thing. Double tap's a little more concise. Yeah. Yes, well, we're going to bring um, Lulu here and show See, you See, other when people we want her. arterial spray, too. We won't get her until early April, right? So uh, whatever March, nine weeks will be. They, yeah. they want to wait nine weeks to get rid of them. To get rid of them. <laughs> She is adorable, though. We're really excited. So, yes. Yes. Well, I think this is all a little off today. And it's just you. You're okay. Off today. Well, we're gonna let that cook for a while. <laughs> At least our video worked. Maybe we should start doing this on Tuesday. It might be a, a but... one of a kind next week, or it might be the feature next week. We will see. Yes, we will. Yep. Okay. We Bye, will guys. See you all on Friday. And if you're at the stitches. What is it? X at home. We'll see you Saturday night yes. for our sponsor yeah. presentation. We're going to create some, oh, there I am, create some custom yarn. Yeah, I might do the same colorway or something. <laughs> oh, good God, no. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to censor that one. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye.